In 1943, Detroit's economy was booming due to the growth in the defense industry. Since the beginning of World War II, the city's population grew by 350,000, 300,000 whites and 50,000 blacks. Due to a number of reasons, including a lack of available housing, tensions between blacks and whites were escalating. On June 20th, 1943, a fight between a group of black youth and white sailors on Belle Isle kicked off a citywide reaction. False stories stoked the conflict into a riot. By the next day, 10,000 whites poured onto Woodward near Forrest and Werner to attack blacks in the streets and overturn cars. Blacks retaliated by attacking whites who ventured into their neighborhoods. As night closed in, 5,000 federal troops were called in to restore the peace. There was more than $2 million in property damaged. The greater loss resulted in the death of 25 blacks and nine whites and more than 600 injured. There comes a time in the life of every community when it must look honestly and seriously into its past in order to provide the best possible foundation for moving into a future based on healing and hope. In the race to equity, the truth leads to solution. Join the efforts of Metro Detroit's Truth and Reconciliation Commission as they examine racial inequity in Detroit.